And welcome to my best man day. Nice to see you've dressed up for the occasion. I'm Alan and I must say it's a real honour to be Andy's best man today. It's been such an exciting day so far that I'm speechless. <laughs> Which is probably good for most of you. <laughs> I must admit I feel slightly on trial here. As Andy said, if I do a good job here, I could be best man at his next wedding. <laughs> Also, in researching for this speech, I read that public speaking is like going to a nudie speech. The first two minutes are the hardest. So let's crack on. <laughs> right, here we go. Serious stuff now. I've known Andy for more years than I care to remember, as we all grew up on the old estate with House Mill. One of us is five years older than the other. I'll let you guess which one. <laughs> We had an absolute ball growing up with playing fields, woods, streams, rivers, then in our late teens, pubs, clubs and magic mushrooms, all on our doorstep. Hey! Somebody else in here would do that. Unfortunately, young Andy wasn't, uh, wasn't allowed to come with us, as Norma deemed us a bad influence. <laughs> Which, looking back, was probably a wise choice on Norma's. Uh, uh, Football was our passion in the early 80s. We were watching Wednesday play away on a regular basis. Couldn't afford the home games, even though it was only 90p to stand at most grounds. As a gyro, didn't go far in them days. <laughs> By the late 80s, we all drifted apart until Andy tragically lost his brother in 2008. This brought us all back together again. We now play for a memorial trophy every year, which Andy has recently put his name on for the first time. I'm sure you'll win it again one day. Well mentioned, well mentioned. <laughs> I'm already looking forward to polishing it next year. <laughs> I could go on with hundreds of funny stories, but most incriminate me as well, so I won't. <laughs> anyway, today is about the future of a lovely couple. Right, now I would like to ask both Andy and Teresa to take part in my speech. <laughs> Teresa, would you place your... Right hand on the table. I don't like Andy, will you place your left hand on top? Are you enjoying that, Andy? Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Right. I'd like you to. I'd like to ask you both to keep your hands in this position until the end of my speech. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorted. Right. As best man this morning. Teresa had given me some duties to perform, but sorry, Teresa, I had to draw the line at putting Vaseline on Andy's ring. <laughs> it took three months to speech. Huh? Andy and Teresa first got together through plentyoffish.com. <laughs> when they first met, when they first met, she thought he was handsome from afar. Now she thinks he's far from handsome. Hey! <laughs> I haven't finished yet, mate, trust me. <laughs> we first met Teresa on one of our memorial nights, which was just a brief visit to collect Andy. It wasn't till we moved up to Bridlington that we became good friends, as their visit was often. We have some good times. Unfortunately, Andy has to have an afternoon nap because he can't keep the pace. <laughs> I haven't had a nap yet though, have I? <laughs> <laughs> have you still got the hands together yet? That's fine. <coughs> Andy, in your first few years of married life... No, no. <laughs> Here's a few words of wisdom. Never go to bed on an argument. Stay up and argue. 
<laughs> the best way to remember your anniversary is to forget it once. <laughs> <laughs> and always remember these three little words. You're right, dear. <laughs> Four, in times of trouble, remember these words from Oscar Wilde. Women are meant to be loved, not understood. <laughs> and most importantly, always get on with your mother-in-law. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't spoken to my mother-in-law for 18 months. Not that I don't like her, I just don't like to interrupt her. <laughs> I was also going to mention an anagram of mother-in-law. Is woman Hitler, but I won't. <laughs> uh, I think I received a message. No? Uh, which one are we on? Is this from Australia or something? Watch this thing. <laughs> to Andy, sorry we couldn't be there today. It would have been too emotional losing a special friend like yourself. Hope to see you again soon from all the girls at the Omega Massage Parlour. Right, in all seriousness. <laughs> I've had to take my hands off, I can't. <laughs> in all seriousness, <laughs> firstly, I'm sure you'll agree that the, the bridesmaids look absolutely stunning. And I've done an excellent job this afternoon in getting Teresa ready and to the ceremony on time. <laughs> From what I hear, she put up quite a fight. <laughs> also, I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the bride and groom I'd like to thank everyone here for sharing their day, particularly those who have travelled a long way to be here. It's amazing how, some far, how far some people will travel for a free meal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you'll agree that they look great together. Right, now in case any... <laughs> I'm, ne I'm nearly there, I'm nearly there. Put now, in case any of you are wondering why I asked Andy to place his hand on top of Teresa's, I will tell you. Andy, as my final role, it has been with great pleasure that I have been able to give you the last five minutes in which you will ever, ever have the upper hand on Teresa. <laughs> right. Without further ado, could everyone stand and join me in wishing the happy couple all the best.